Hey sweethearts! So today I'm doing my full-on Japan haul. So everything that I didn't show in the last one that was really um, quick on the first day when I was still in Japan. Um, but I will be splitting them into two. So this one will be uh, everything that is in clothing basically that I got after. So I'm just gonna start with what's right in front of me, which I'm also currently in use. I got two of these cinnamon roll um, lunch boxes. They're very cute. They have food in them, as you can see. And I got two of them at Sanrio Poorland, and they were like 700 yen together. So around six euros for two boxes is insane. So that's like three each, which is really good. Yeah, and oh yeah, if you already add it, also got this little um, tuxedo sum hair. Um, tie which is like fluffy as you can see at Sanrio gift gate so there will be I went to a bunch of different Sanrio gift gates also to Portland so everything will just be like spread out and I will just tell you where every single item is from um, yeah and then I guess we could continue on with this I have this little bowl which I got at um, some pottery store actually this was 880 yen, so like 715 euros. Uh, and if it, you want it in US dollars, you basically just take the zero away, and it's a Buddha comma here, so like around eight or, or eight dollars eighty. So if that helps you, um, yeah. So I got this uh, bowl. I also got, which I'm currently keeping all the uh, accessories I bought in, so I can show you also got this cup. They're all um, handmade, so that's why they were more, more expensive, even though honestly I think it's not expensive at all. It's insanely beautiful. And these are teacups. I have two of them. Um, just need to find the other one. Yes, they are two different ones. I still have the price tag on them. I haven't used them yet. But now I can, finally. I have used most of the stuff, but some stuff I tried not to for the video. Uh, yeah, they're really beautiful, as you can see, and yeah, they're different. This one has more purple. Yeah, both of them were 880 and so around 750, which I think is fine, considering they are handmade and absolutely beautiful. I'm very into cherry blossoms, as you, if you haven't noticed. Oh yeah, this sticker in the back, it's from Daiso actually, which is a 100 yen store that's really popular and also they have it in the US and some other parts of Asia, I heard. Yeah, so I got that from there, so that was 100 yen since it's a dollar store. 100 yen store, um, so that's like 75 cents. That's amazing, right? Oh yeah, I should take this off. Oh yeah, while we're at it. I got this in Poorland. I'm not sure how many times I will get the occasion to wear this outside, but actually I'm just gonna wear it right now because it fits the theme and my outfit actually. Yeah. Um, so I got that Poorland. Uh, it was, uh, how much was that? Probably pr a lot, like I think maybe even 1,400 yen. That's like 13 euro, I guess. Yeah. But it's really cute, and yeah, we had a lot of fun in Poorland. And wait, did I show you all those? Oh yeah, then uh, at the pottery place, I also got this little bowl. I don't have the price, but yeah, it's made in Japan. These are all made in Japan, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I also got that one there, if I remember correctly. And. Then, oh yeah, I also got these two spoons. Ooh, something, oh no, something exploded, that's not good. Well, I got these two spoons also at the pottery store. I'm not exactly sure where the pottery store was, but it was somewhere like more down a traditional street. Maybe I find out the, around where it was. I know it was near Yudori Cat Cafe, which I will vlog about too, um, which is amazing rescue cat cafe. It was around there, around that district. But I have no idea what it was called right now, but it was very traditional old style and like old um, selling old type stuff. Uh, yeah, so I got these two spoons. I'm also not sure how much they were, but I think 500 or 600 yen. So like around 5 euros. Yeah, one with a sakura, one with cat paw. Yeah, I really liked them. They're really cute. And 
when we add talking about plates i guess i should show you this also got these two but not at that place but actually a dice so they were 100 yen each obviously because it's dice so everything is 100 yen so 75 cents for both plates that's insane they i mean i don't have any complaints about them oh yeah they're also made in japan wait i'm confused maybe i got I was not sure if I actually got this one I think was also dice so yeah it seems like we, you can tell the difference a bit that these are not I think this is not handmade. yeah I think these are all both from dice so so this was 100 yen too and yeah these two I got there they're very nice I have used them I have put them in microwave they're fine um yeah oh no I did crush something on accident okay so then on, what will we continue on with? I have like I tried to pull all the stuff together. Well, this is kind of random, but I got just some, I wanted some tea magazine just for inspiration because I, um, if you don't know, I study graphic design and I'm also applying uh, for like full-time job finally soon uh, for graphic design because I'm finishing with uni. So that's very nice because right now I kind of have a full-time job, which I wish I could, but it's not possible time-wise because I have a lot of uni. Uh, yeah, so I got this because I'm also making a magazine and it's good for inspiration. It's 17. I have like another pop tin I got like in London once from this Japan store, but this one I actually got there. Yeah, Japanese magazines are very different and it's more the kind of style I like with the aesthetics and also it's interesting to see how um, they like make magazines. They're obviously different because they already have different writing system and so they need to place things differently. Yeah, yeah, I really like looking at them. I obviously am not fluent in Japanese, but I'm hoping that maybe one day I can read all of this fluently without having to start training my brain. Yeah, so that's very cool. Yeah, I actually wanted to get popped in, but I didn't like the cover too much, so I wanted to get one where I thought the cover was inspirational, which I think this 17 was. So yeah, I got this one and they are... Hmm. I also got a nylon Japan for my friend. How much were these? Ah, oh, 530 yen, so... Around 450 euros, it's fine, it's a big magazine, it's very high quality. Um, yeah, so continuing on... <laughs> gonna continue with this little bracelet. I got this Purland. I think this might be Purland exclusive. It's really adorable actually. And I've been wearing it a lot. I have no idea anymore how much it was, but maximum maybe around 500 yen. Yeah, they have some blue hair. Yeah, but I got matching um, hair ties. But they are so adorable because I love strawberry things, but I don't like the color red too much. Even though recently I've actually had some red things or red lipstick. Cinema rolls with um, a bow. And strawberries inside this bowl thing and they were adorable I think they were like also 400 500 yen and these are so beautiful like uh, I really like cinnamon roll <laughs> which is this character if you don't know Ugh, maybe you can kind of tell it's a bit hard it's not really focusing I guess yeah but it's very cute I'm very happy with these and that night I might as well share my other accessories. So there, I went to the Real Akuma store and um, they also had a Paris kids section, which is like this, I guess, technically kids um, hair accessory type store. And everyone who's like into cherry fashion or cute things loves it. And also you can see like a, a ton of grown uh, people cropping there, so whatever. So like, uh, these are only like 100, 200, 300 yen, like each, it depends, but I, I don't know the exact price, but they're very cheap. So like 1 to 3 euros each, and yeah, I got this hair, this strawberry one, the pink strawberry ones, which I adore. I've been wearing a lot already too in Japan. Also this one, I also have white ones, but I can't find them right now. These are not the best quality, but I mean whatever, like I can just try them again. Yeah, and also got these star ones in pink and these star ones in blue. What I've been wearing a lot, however, is uh, these heart earrings, which I got at the 
Paris Kids store like in Takeshita Street I think yeah they're very cute I got them in pink and I also got them in purple I didn't have them in pastel blue but I mean I like these colors and yeah in Japan people usually don't have pierced earrings so all of them are like this but since I have stretched ears I don't really care I can just use them anyway yeah they're very cute I've been wearing them a lot Oh, also, this was also on Takeshita Street. I got these earrings from uh, WC. Yes, WC is one of the stores which you will see my clothing haul, which I spent the most money at. Um, which I mean is fine because I've been wearing those clothes non stop. And yeah, I got these earrings. Maybe they were 600 yen, so like around 5 euros. Yeah, they're very cute. They have them in several colors and they're like earrings again. And then oh, this one was it, I think, Sanrio Gift Gate. I got these clips. Oops, this was a set of clips with a cinema roll and his sister, I think. Yeah, and they're just hair clips. Maybe also 500 yen, so like 4 euro or something. Yeah, they were very cute. And all of these hair clips. I also have a pink version of some of these I can't find right now because I've been using them all the time. I have, like, I got these bunnies. Like, they're like 150 yen, so like a, around a euro each, which is like nothing, if even. They might even be 100 yen, 120. Yeah, so I got this with strawberry and a bunny, for example. I also got this one in pink, but I can't find it. Yeah, I got several. Um, also in blue, basically everything I like, blue and pink version. Yes, and I also got this, which was actually at around the shrine. This is at Asakusa, a very touristy thing, but it is Hello Kitty with cherry blossoms, so that's very good, and I wanted that. <laughs> um, yes, so I tried to get the accessories together, so I might even be done if I hadn't f didn't forget anything. Um, yes, okay. So continuing on, oh yeah, also got this random flower thing, a Daiso, like with Sakura, obviously, because everyone needs to make a hit here, actually. Yeah, it's very adorable. I got so much Sakura stuff, you will see. Um, yeah, so then... Oh, at that traditional tea shop I mentioned before, I got the Sakura tea. Which I failed the first time because the leaves are so small, but it actually, I think this is the closest thing that actually like uh, has sakura scent from all the sakura scented stuff I got. Like I got, I remember showing you this sakura room spray and it just smells kind of like random air freshener with flower, but it's okay. Yeah, this uh, like is so nice. Yeah, so this has sakura leaves, it's sakura leaves tea. It's very awesome. <laughs> yes, um, I don't know how much it was, maybe 600 yen. Like I said, that tea store wasn't too cheap, but like it's all very local and so that was nice. So yeah, got that. Um, continuing on, something I got at Sanrio Gift Gate, which is a good gift, but I got it for myself because I'm that person. I got these um, cards and this full of cards is like Mount Fuji but in pink and I'm a sucker for everything Sakura and Mount Fuji. Uh, yeah, so I have to keep them around my place because they're pretty as fuck. And yeah, nothing else to say about that. I don't know the price anymore but they weren't too expensive, like maybe 400 yen. So like for your 50 maybe. For how beautiful they are I don't think that's much. Yeah, so I also got this one. It's also a fold-up one. It's very pretty. If you're a good person, you can actually give them to your friends or family, but I haven't. Because they are too pretty. <laughs> uh, yes. So, oh yeah, I also got this pill case at Daiso, so also 100 yen. And I will include some gifts I got because my friend gave me a bunch of stuff, which is insane. But yeah, she gave me this happy birthday card, assuming since we didn't see each other for a while since she lives in Japan. I My birthday is in July, so thank you! <laughs> it's very cute! So I'm assuming it's also from Sunrio Gift Gate as it's little twin stars and it's very adorable. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, on that note she also got me this one. Like, uh, it's a bag charm. I had it on my bag already, I had to take it out 
yeah, it's like guessing for the Pokemon Center. And also she gave me this awesome green tea. I have seen him around a lot of touristy places in general, like just places that sell this type of stuff. I mean, it's Japan, you will find green tea everywhere. It's very pretty. I haven't tried this tea yet though, but I'm sure it's awesome because she gave it to me and she must know. And oh yeah, something I think I actually saw on Pretty Pastel Please story. Actually, really sad. Uh, I cut it out on my first vlog, but we were meant to meet up. She asked me to meet up, which was very nice of her, and I felt very happy that she thought about me. But it didn't work because her camera broke, and then she already had to leave, and I had just kind of arrived. So that was a bit sad. But I think I'm pretty sure I saw this on her, maybe Instagram, maybe YouTube. I have no idea. But it's um, cherry blossom sake, as far as I know, and it has actual cherry blossom inside. And it's too pretty to drink. And I did think about getting more, but my suitcase was full to the brim. And I didn't want to exceed my 20 kilogram limit. I only had one suitcase. And yeah, so I got this. I think it was 600 or 700 yen. But I mean, like, I would have paid probably three times as much because that's how stupid I am. Maybe. Me and my boyfriend are celebrating our one year anniversary soon. And maybe we're gonna drink it together. Maybe I'm gonna be cute enough. Maybe I can fill it up again. And it's cute. But yeah, I will totally buy more of these. Also, I saw this really, really pretty like sake barrel, like old style. In um, Oh yeah, this I got it on Quixote. I will say the name wrong, really sorry, I will insert it here. But they are all over Tokyo, I think in Japan in general. I was just staying in Tokyo, by the way. And they are huge places where you can bas can get basically anything from drinks to snacks to clothing to even um, adult toys. Especially, I mean, I don't know, not in every one, at least I haven't seen it. The one in Akihabara apparently stocks them. I didn't have time to check that. But they are apparently very interesting and they have very cute selections for that too. And more costumes or something or cosplay. Yeah, so Don Quixote has everything. I got this one there. And yeah, this is the box. I kept it around because that's who I am. Oh wow, the box is awesome. Yes, it's very cute. Um, I haven't had it yet because it's too pretty to drink, but maybe I will share it with my boyfriend. I mean, it's very small. I mean, it's kind of a shot. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so it's very cute. And then, oh yeah. I guess this I also got it on Quixote. In Japan, if you don't know, like it's not really common to have any hand towels when you're on a public toilet, even though props to Japan, they have public toilets everywhere and they are free. Not like in Austria or Germany. I don't know. I mean, honestly, so far to the places I've been, Austria, Germany and Switzerland have been the worst. I mean, that's kind of where I grew up, like I grew up around Austria and Germany like um, Swiss uh, German border but in living in Austria now I live in the east of Austria like close to Hungary close to Czech Republic Slovenia and Slovakia so around there so around where I've grown up and I've like been a lot it's the worst so far but in Japan it was the polar opposite there's public toilets everywhere which is awesome and they are free because here I don't know if you know but you need to pay for peeing all the time and it's ridiculous because what if you have a period what if you're pregnant what if you just want to pee it's a human right to fucking pee just my thoughts on that well okay well i went on a tangent but basically they don't really have towels though which i don't care so a lot of people have these towels with them and you can get them anywhere like it's such a thing to have you can buy them anywhere and so i bought this one. Oh no i actually remember they have another one somewhere that i got at dice so but it's far away well got this at Don Quixote uh, and yeah it's Pokemon I think it was like 500 yen so again like for 15 euros five dollars maybe yeah it's very cute it's Pokemon related I actually only bought one thing at the Pokemon Center but it only was at the one in Sunshine City but it was super full wasn't this time that good for me but I I mean whatever I bought enough in the end anyway so that's very cute on that note, my friend also got me this one because she won it in this kind of lottery you can do at these um, places. I haven't done it myself, but she won She said she chose it because she knew I would like it, so she could give it to me because she's an angel. So yeah, she got this for me and it's very adorable. So now I have two amazing towels which are just 
use as decor or like actually as a towel, which is almost too sad to use for. Mm. My purse broke, so I got this at the Rilakkuma store. The Rilakkuma store is really cute, and this is Um Yes, oh, on that note, I could show you this. Um, I got um, License of My Majesty at a maid cafe. <laughs> and <laughs> it says Rora <laughs> Nyan, which is like Laura Nyan in Japanese. Because that's my new name according to the maid. Go to a maid cafe if you're in Japan, even if you think you're not into it, just go for the experience once. I mean, I don't have to go again, but I did enjoy my experience. It was interesting. Yeah, so I got this. Uh, hmm, how much? Oh, yeah, actually, this one was quite expensive when I was thinking about if I should actually do it, but I did. I think it was like 2000 yen. So, 16, 15 euros. Yes, but it's very cute and I don't regret it and it's very soft and it makes me happy. Um, something else from some real gift kit is this little cinema roll, also like a head, uh, uh, hair, tie, yes, words. Um, yeah, it's very cute. On that note, before I forget and before it gets cold, I should have my coffee, which I did totally not on purpose put in this cup, which I got in um, Don Quixote around Shibuya 109, so in Shibuya, uh, and this was 1,600 1, yen, so like 14 euros, 50 maybe. Um, yes, it's one of my favorite things I got actually, even if it's just a cup and kind of basic you would think, but I don't know, I really like the artwork because it has Shibuya 109. It's just special to me because I felt so happy that night when I was there, like I took a picture standing around here somewhere. And it's just super special. I also love pixel art and this will forever remind me. I hope I never break this. Like it's just kind of special. Like, you know, it's like good if you get a gift from Japan, but it's something else if you've been to a place and then you get something that really reminds you and it just always makes you happy. Yeah. So it's very cute and like I really like this. You can, I saw also that you could get this design. I'm not sure if you could get the cup, but on a shirt um, in front of Shibuya 109, so the big shopping center if you don't know that. Like just outside in a vending machine, so just saying. But I mean, for like Don Quixote and a lot of, like in Don Quixote is like open 24-7, like most of them, which I'm not joking, it's actually open all night for like at least most of them as far as I understood and saw. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Oof, I did get, let the coffee get cold. Mm. Ah, but it's rare that I find time during uh, sunlight to film, so this is cool. Something else at Don Quixote. I did get a lot of stuff at Don Quixote. Actually, it was really awesome. You could get tax free, and I once bought so many things. Also, some alcohol. They were like, well, but do you want to drink it now? And I got so confused because uh, it makes sense, but I didn't think about it because I'm not used to it. If you buy something tax-free, you're not meant to use it, especially, I mean, I guess with clothing, you can get around it as long as it stays in your suitcase when you go back to your country. But um, 